right, so now you have had a chance to see us perform and you've had a chance to learn a little bit more about our music and how we got here. This video is going to be where we introduce you to our different drums. There are five different drums that we play in Batala and I'm going to start by introducing you to the Cerdos. Our Cerdos are the four ladies on the outside of the band. Raise your hands. They play the drums that are the biggest, the lowest, and the loudest. We call what they play the heartbeat. So let's demonstrate a heartbeat nice and slow. One, two, three. Notice that there are two different sounds. There's a lower drum, we call that the Serto 1, that's the boom. And then there's a higher tuned drum, the Serto 2, we call that the beam. The boom beam together make the heartbeat. The boom is what also provides the downbeat. They establish the foundation of our music, whereas the Serto 2s get to decide how fast we go. So they are in the driver's seat. They get to pick the tempo that we all move at. So now I want, to, I want you to hear what it sounds like if we do it nice and fast. So how about something more like boom, beam, boom, beam. One, two, three, four. So it was on the Cerdo twos there to, to come in nice and fast and keep us all moving at a good tempo. The other interesting thing to note about our bass tunings is that we have a lower sound first and then the higher sound comes second. It's a boom, beam, boom, beam. In samba music, that's reversed. You oftentimes hear the higher sound first. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba. But in samba reggae, they purposefully flip that. So it's more like a boo boo cha cha, boom, boom, cha. And that forms the basis of our music. The next drum I want to introduce you to are these ladies in the front row, the dober players. So we have a boom, we have a beam, and the dobras provide our ba. They provide the melody that goes in between those notes. So let's hear one of your grooves. One, two, three, four. So because they're in the front row, because they're playing a lot of the melody of our music, they're the ones who get to do the most dancing. They have the most elaborate choreography. So if you like dancing, you might be a dober player. If you're a bit of a diva, you might be a dober player. Uh, and the music that they play is oftentimes a call and response with the hippikis, where the dober melody provides the call and our hippiki players provide the response. So let's hear some samba reggae. One, two, three, four. So the hippiki is tuned very high and it's a really sort of loud sound that cuts through the rest of the band. So they get to do a lot of soloing, they play a lot of more complicated rhythms that um, I consider to provide the flair of what we do. So we have a call and response between the dobras and the hippikis. And then the other drum is the kaisha. And in this particular song, they play the same groove that the hippikis play, but their drum sounds very different. One, two, three, four. So the snare drums, the kaisha drums, have this rattly bits on the bottom that sort of make that sound, that sort of hissing sound that fills in the gaps between what the rest of us are doing. We call them the white noise or the glue that really holds our rhythms together. So those are the five different drums. I want you to hear now how they build to form a rhythm. So we're going to start with the cerdos. Boom, beam, boom, beam. One, two, three, four. thing that we play pretty regularly. Sometimes we can play it a good bit faster. So I want you to hear what that sounds like. Ga, 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 ga. One, two, three, four. Such fun energy. 
easy. Uh, so now you have learned how to play a samba reggae groove, and you've been introduced to all of our drums. <laughs> <laughs>